For over 100 years, the Butler County Humane Society has cared for and placed into loving homes the area's abused, neglected, and abandoned animals. Our No Kill initiative was started in 2000 with the commitment of the board, our staff, and our community. As we are a non-profit, non-tax-supported facility, the BCHS is dependent on private donations for survival. We hope you enjoy this episode of Critter Corner and bring your entire family to visit us here at the Butler County Humane Society. At four years old, Noah was abandoned at the shelter in one of the fenced yards overnight. Obviously grateful for being brought inside after enduring the rain that morning, Noah instantly showed everyone what a sweet and gentle heart he has, enjoying a gentle ear massage or belly rub. Still spunky and playful, he loves chasing tennis balls and romping around with you any chance he can get. Although he interacts well with some kids, the noise and activity brought on with younger ones can be too overwhelming for him, making him best suited for kids over 12. At one and a half years old, Dapple is still a petite little girl, but she has a big welcoming heart. The best word to describe this girl is sweet. She will greet you with the cutest of meows and begin to rub on your leg, hoping for some affection in return. She does the same with other animals and has had many kitty companions, even helping a few nervous ones come out of their shells. Though mostly outgoing, she can be startled from time to time when too much activity is going on around her. Due to this, Dapple would do best with kids on the calmer side. Quiet and gentle, four-year-old Joshua is one that enjoys the simple things in life. A leisurely walk, a scratch behind the ear, a comfortable spot to take a short snooze, the list goes on. While he is fairly low energy, there's one thing that excites him, meeting new people. Once he sees your face, he'll wag his tail happily and bounce around the room in excitement. Joshua would do best in a home with older or calmer kids and no cats, but has some potential to get along with other dogs. Eight-year-old Angie came to the shelter as a stray with a wound on the top of her ear. After it was obvious it wasn't going to heal properly, the tip of her ear had to be removed. However, Angie has no problem still strutting her stuff, drawing in as much attention as she can welcome by welcoming you with a big, bold meow. Her affectionate and even temperament makes her well-suited for a home of all ages, though she would prefer to be an only cat. Our next rabies clinic is August 16th here at the Butler County Humane Society from 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. If you bring a copy of your pet's current rabies vaccination, you are eligible to receive a three-year rabies vaccination rather than a one-year shot. Regardless, all rabies shots are $10 each. Microchips will be available during the clinic at the discounted price of $15 per chip. Your pet must have a current rabies vaccination with the rabies certificate present to receive a microchip. With a nose full of porcupine quills, six-year-old Marin obviously had an unfortunate adventure while running loose as a stray. Immediately upon arrival, a local vet removed the quills from her face. Now fully healed up and ready to be adopted, Marin is happy to show you what a wonderful girl she is. Starting off a little reserved, waiting to see how you will take to her. She quickly settles in and wants to play. If you aren't in the mood for that, then she'll gladly change pace and sit with you while being petted. Marin would fit well into most homes, but may be slower to adjust to highly active kids. Surrendered to the shelter when her family could no longer keep her, Three-year-old Angel has taken her time transitioning into her new lifestyle. While she was uncertain of what to do at times, it is obvious she was a well-loved family pet who has plenty of love to give to her new family. One look into her expressive eyes and you are sure to be hooked. With the help of staff, volunteers, and a couple cat companions, Angel has come out of her shell and shown everyone that she has everything it takes to be a happy, content house cat once again, fitting well into most homes. Barely over a year old, Leona still behaves just like a young puppy. Loving nothing more than to romp and play, she is a very active and energetic dog. Her favorite activity is keep away, with most any toy or a good game of tug. She has even been seen trying to catch the red dot from a laser pointer. Due to her spunk and size, she should be an only animal in a home with kids over 13. With two kittens in tow, three-year-old Jovi has already seen her babies get adopted and is now patiently waiting for her turn. As would be expected of a mother, she is calm and relaxed, 
taking everything in stride. At times, she can be reserved, watching and pondering before making a brash move. Due to her quiet nature, she doesn't always want to interact with other cats, but could adjust to a family with a feline. Spunky, easygoing, and super sweet, six-year-old Max was surrendered to the shelter when the family's daughter had an outbreak of asthma. Initially uncertain of life at the shelter, the two other dogs he was surrendered with helped him adjust quickly. Although he can still be a little hesitant from time to time, he appears to love people and enjoys the company of other dogs. With his well-rounded disposition, Max would fit well into most homes, with or without kids and other animals. The Butler County Humane Society is currently housing kittens of all colors and sizes. Not only is their exterior different, but their interior is as well. Each has his or her own unique personality that makes them one of a kind. Some may be shy and sweet, preferring nothing more than a welcoming lap, while others have a seize the day mentality, daringly climbing and jumping any available surface. Stop by and meet some of our kittens looking for their new forever homes. At just under two years old, River is still working on figuring out who he is. It's obvious that he's playful, spunky, and extremely sweet-natured, but at times he's also rather shy and nervous. While around those he knows well, he is at his best and is far more confident than on his own with someone new. However, he easily makes new friends with other canines, but cats are out of the question. River would do best in a home with kids over 15. After arriving as a stray, it was obvious Warren needed some medical attention. His eye was hazed over and he had a large wound on the side of his neck. Obviously thankful for the great care he received, Warren has spent every day reminding staff and volunteers how much he appreciates their help and compassion. He will purr and trill for everything, a gentle cheek rub, a bowl of food, even a nail trim. With such a loving disposition, he would fit well into almost any home. But with an adorable, easy to love face, six-year-old Chandler will quickly steal your heart if given the chance. He has a great balance between active and dormant. If you want to go for a walk or play, he'll gladly join. An obvious bounce of excitement in his step. However, if you are tired after a long day and would rather lounge around, he is more than content snoozing in a comfy spot like on top of your feet. Since Chandler is a well-rounded man with a wide variety of interests, he would be an excellent fit for almost any home with or without kids and other pets. A big boy with an even bigger heart, two-year-old Oliver draws all your attention due to his size. However, it's his charm and captivating personality that keeps your attention. Bold and obviously comfortable with his surroundings, Oliver marches around like he owns the place, greeting everyone around one at a time. Expecting nothing but the best, he would fit well into any home that will give him the same attention and affection he's sure to give to you. Seven-year-old Sparky may be getting up there in years, but judging from his behavior, you would think him to be much younger. While not your stereotypical Jack Russell, Sparky isn't crazy energetic, although he definitely enjoys long walks with his volunteer friends, running in the fenced-in yards and chasing after toys, even if he doesn't always bring them back. He also likes to meet new people, despite being slightly apprehensive at first. Due to his initial nerves, Sparky would do better with older kids, but may adjust well to younger ones pending their activity levels. Originally a skinny stray kitty, two-year-old Franca has settled into the pampered life at the shelter. With an obvious love of food and cat treats, she has packed on quite a few pounds, but that just means there's more of her to be loved. Looking for a home that will continue to treat her to the finer things in life, Franca will reciprocate the affection with contented purrs and meows. In order to preserve all your attention for herself, Franca would prefer to be the only cat in a home with kids over six. At one year old, Sapphire was surrendered to the shelter with her sister when her owner could no longer care for them. Understandably shy and nervous at first, she has made great strides in confidence and is much more receptive to the attention she receives from new faces. However, she is still most comfortable around those she knows well, making her best suited to a home with older kids, but would do well with most other animals. Although eight-year-old Maya was surrendered to the shelter from the home she's known for the better part of her life, the change of scenery doesn't have her down in the least. Quite affectionate and extremely social, Maya will rub on your leg in greeting, enthusiastically meowing the whole time. Though she doesn't seem to enjoy the companion of most other cats, she doesn't seem to mind the company of any and all humans, adults and kids alike. Surrendered to the shelter at two years old, 
Coca has had no trouble whatsoever adjusting to her new life. Friendly, outgoing, and perky the entire time, she has caught the attention of everyone she has met. How could she not? With a large size and even larger personality, Coca would fit well into most homes as she is gentle and plays well with other dogs and kids, but does not share the same fondness for cats, making her best suited for a home without felines around. Calling out to you as soon as she sees you is eight-year-old Paige. As loving as can be, she will rub against your legs asking for some love. If her silent pleas are left unanswered, you can be sure she will start talking some more. Paige would do well in most homes without kids, though she does not seem to like other cats, preferring to have all your attention for herself. Surrendered to the shelter when his family could no longer keep him, six-year-old Double D has made quite the impression on staff and volunteers due to his large size and even larger personality. Though active and vocal in his kennel, he is a giant sweetheart that is simply looking to catch your attention in order to acquire some love. Double D is intelligent but can be easily distracted, making him best suited in a home with kids over 12 and no cats. Starting off shy and a bit rebellious, three-year-old Cody didn't know what to make of life at the shelter initially. However, thanks to the dedication of staff, he has truly turned a corner and has become one of the most loving cats around. He has even helped a few other nervous cats come out of their shells. Cody gets along well with other animals, dogs, and fellow felines alike, and wouldn't mind sharing his home with kids either. Meet Mike Wigan. When it comes to volunteering, Mike is someone who regularly goes completely above and beyond. Over the last few years, he has established himself as one of the regulars here at the shelter and is here almost every day, always willing to lend a hand. He's done laundry for the shelter when the washer has acted up, fixed things around the shelter when they didn't want to work properly, and is well known for his culinary skills thanks to the breakfasts and lunches he has regularly provided for staff. In addition to that, he works with some of the dogs that need a little extra care, takes animals to the veterinarians, assists with clinics, and has even fostered some of the shelter animals before. It's easy for anyone to see that Mike is an invaluable volunteer here at the Butler County Humane Society. Mature in years at eight, Elroy's activity level may not be as it once was, yet he still has plenty of pep left. He is frequently seen running around the yards with his current canine companion, proving that his age can't slow him down too much. But his true appeal lies in his disposition, as it is next to impossible not to fall in love with his quiet sweetness and happy hound face. Elroy would likely fit well into most homes, with or without other pets and kids. Craig was one of seven stray cats rescued from the Butler area by a compassionate woman, all of which started off rather shy and uncertain. Soon, staff was able to see their individual personalities. Now three years old, Craig still takes a few moments to warm up, but has been known to hop onto your lap whenever he is in the mood for some lovin', once he is comfortable with you. Not one to cuddle too much, he would do best with kids over five, but would love the companionship of another pet, especially another playful cat to match his personality. Leroy arrived to the shelter as a stray at about eight years old. As soon as he arrived, he stole the hearts of staff with his upbeat and enthusiastic personality. It appeared as though he was simply happy to see and be around people, and that hasn't changed since. If you're looking for a boy that will be excited just to have you around, then Leroy is your man. Due to his overall disposition and easygoing nature, Leroy would fit well into most homes with or without kids and other pets. A dainty girl with a huge heart, four-year-old Betty is a lover to all. Her disposition is as soft as the fur of her coat, approaching you gently, waiting for you to say hello. While she enjoys playing every now and then, she would much rather pass her time getting attention from you. Seeming to like other animals, Betty would be excellent companion for other cats, as she has had a few feline friends since arriving to the shelter. She would also do well with most ages of kids due to her easygoing attitude. Eight-year-old Amelie came to the shelter as a stray and is slowly but surely adjusting to the new routine. Though she seems to have an aversion to the men of the building, taking to them at a sluggish pace. She has little problem liking the women, instantly jumping into their lap and making herself at home. However, with the little patience, staff is sure she will come to love her male companions just as much. Amelie would fit best into a home without kids, but has the potential to get along with some other animals. 
At around one year old, Callie has gone through much in life. Despite previously having a home, she had to be surrendered to the shelter when her family could no longer give her the care she deserved. At first, she didn't respond well to this transition, but now she has come to love her shelter companions and is a vibrant, spirited young cat waiting for a new family. Callie would fit best in a home with kids over seven, but enjoys the company of most pets, felines and canines alike. Arriving at the shelter with massive hair loss and an understandably nervous attitude, five-year-old Maddie had a rough time fending for herself as a stray. Thankfully, she merely had a flea allergy that was easily treated. She also quickly overcame her nervousness and is now an outgoing, lovable girl who gets so excited to see you, her body wags along with her tail. Maddie would fit well into most homes, but is choosy about her canine companions. Middle-aged at about seven years old is Flicker. While not always big on snuggling, she still enjoys the company of people and all that comes with your attention, whether that be a gentle chin scratch or a wave of a feather wand. Due to her rounded personality and fun-loving attitude, Flicker is likely to fit into most homes with adults and kids of all ages. Our next rabies clinic is August 16th here at the Butler County Humane Society from 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. If you bring a copy of your pet's current rabies vaccination, you are eligible to receive a three-year rabies vaccination rather than a one-year vaccine. Regardless, all rabies shots are $10 each. Microchips will be available during the vaccine clinic at the discounted price of $15 per chip. Your pet must have a current rabies vaccination with the rabies certificate present to receive a microchip. Daisy came to the shelter as a stray with another tiny beagle. At seven years old, she hasn't lost her excitement for life. Following her nose wherever she goes, Daisy loves to explore her surroundings to find her next great adventure, even if it is only running around the fenced-in yards with her canine companions. Always happy and easygoing, Daisy would fit well into most homes as she seems to enjoy playing with kids and other dogs. This four-year-old man, Jerry, is quite the handsome fellow with a face that's hard not to love. Starting off shy at first, he can be highly affectionate if given the chance. After a gentle cheek massage, you'll have him purring up a storm and following you around in hopes of more affection. Though still a bit nervous around other animals, he seems to have the potential to get along with them, as well as children. Still very much a puppy at seven months old, Monty is hanging on to a few puppy behaviors, making him best suited for a home with kids over 10 and no cats. However, he is looking forward to showing you what a good boy he can be. Exuding excitement upon your first meeting, he will settle down fast, turning into a bit of a cuddle bug. He already knows a few basic commands and will quickly pick up more. Once you meet Monty and see his cute charm, it will not be hard to take him home. A big boy with a personality match, three-year-old Grover can't wait to meet you. In fact, he's so eager, he will start to dig his cage door to get out as soon as you lock eyes with him. Once out and about, he instantly begins to rub on your legs in hopes of some returned affection. With such a friendly and outgoing personality, Grover would make a devoted addition to most homes. As a senior dog, eight-year-old Oki knows exactly how he wants to spend the last half of his life, with plenty of TLC, R&R, &R, and a welcoming lap to snooze on. Though he enjoys lounging around for a good portion of the day, Oki is more than happy to play with toys. He's even been seen throwing them around for himself during his kennel break behind the front desk. Due to his age and desire to go at his own pace, Oki would do best in a home with kids over 13. Proper and ladylike, just as her name implies, one-year-old Miss Lucy was surrendered to the shelter when her owner could no longer care for her. Staff was informed that she is loving and sweet, but it took some time for her to adjust to her new surroundings before her true personality was shown. Now, her fantastic nature shines through as she happily socializes with other cats and greets newcomers with welcoming eyes. Before you know it, she'll be purring up a storm in your lap. Miss Lucy would fit well into most homes. A true lover at heart, four-year-old Brittany has overcome much in her life. After arriving to the shelter as a stray with wounds across the back of her neck, she was understandably nervous with new people. But thanks to the devotion of staff and volunteers, Brittany has left that past behind and greased the future with kisses and tail wags. The only thing this girl loves more than frisbees are tennis balls. Once in a home, Brittany is likely to show off her fetching skills, then curling up with you on the couch for cuddles and quiet time. She would do best in a home without young kids or other pets, as she prefers all the attention to be on her. 
Two-year-old Esther started off her stay at the shelter with her best foot forward. Right off the bat, she was friendly and affectionate with staff and has continued to be so with volunteers of all ages. At first, she didn't seem to enjoy the company of other cats, but has made some improvement, leading staff to believe she wouldn't mind sharing her new home with some other animals or kids. Adopted and returned when his owner could no longer afford him, Jackson has found himself in the market for a new home once again. Often attempting to act stately, he frequently blunders the attempt, tripping while trying to jump into a chair or giving in to his playfulness in a quick burst of energy by chasing after a string or piece of fuzz. Though he seems to be embarrassed afterwards, it's clear he enjoys everything in life and it's enjoyable to watch. Jackson would fit well into most any home. After arriving as a stray, one-year-old Zira was understandably scared and uncertain. However, she instantly took to one of the staff members and was a bouncy, outgoing girl that plays, gives kisses, and thinks she's a lapdog. Although she didn't respond the same to everyone that way, she has made great strides with everyone and is coming out of her shell more and more each day. Since she still has a way to go, she needs a home with no kids under 13. When Ivy first arrived at the shelter as a stray kitten, she was taken into foster care where she was nursed back to health and grew into a hardy cat. Now three years old, she is seeking a home that will allow her to adjust on all her terms since she was adopted and returned for hiding too much after a short period of time. If allowed a little bit of space and understanding, she will soon be hugging your shoulders, headbutting your chin, and giving kisses on the cheek. Do you have some old books collecting dust on your shelf? Why not donate them to the Butler County Humane Society? This September, we're going to be holding our first ever used book sale here at the shelter to benefit the cats and dogs of the shelter. And we need your help in providing gently used hard and soft cover books for the event. We'll accept anything from textbooks to children's books, fiction and nonfiction, cooks books, novels, you name it. Find a new home for those old books and help the animals of the shelter find forever homes of their own in the process. Felice came to the Butler County Humane Society as a stray. Staff discovered that she was already spayed, so she must have once been part of a family. While no one knows how she ended up on her own, she's moving forward and looking for the perfect home. During her stay at the shelter, she has understandably become picky with her people after seeing so many come and go, but she can be as nice and loving as the next cat if she approves of you, though since she can show some catitude now and again, she would do best in a home with older kids. The Elizabeth Taylor of the Butler County Humane Society may not be as glamorous as the movie star, but she's still quite the looker. At one year old, she still has some of her kitten attitude left. Whenever she's out of her cage, she likes to roll around on the floor, soaking up the attention she receives from her theatrics. An outgoing girl who seems to enjoy the spotlight, Elizabeth Taylor is a star that would fit well into most homes. Wiggly and attentive, three-year-old Reba is still young at heart. Always learning and eager to please, she has mastered most of her basics since arriving as a stray and has taken on several show tricks. This happy girl will do about anything for a cookie, but her true appeal lies in her ability to love you with everything she has. Once she knows you well, she's a loyal friend for life. Reba can be rather active, often seen chasing jolly balls in the yard, making her best suited for a home with older kids so she can let loose and play. Still young in age, one-year-old Mary seems to have an old soul. Not much of an active kitten, she prefers to seek out your attention. From time to time, she still acts her age and chases around anything with feathers, though she would rather have a welcoming lap that she can hop onto for a cheek massage or pampering brush. Mary would still do best in a home with older kids due to her occasional kitty diva moments when she wants some time to herself. One-and-a-half-year-old Ashley has matured into a spunky young lady with a love of playing and socializing. She will greet you as soon as she sees you by calling out with a meow and by reaching out her paw through her cage door. Once out of her cage, she shows a lot of interest in what's going on around her in a friendly, outgoing manner, making her well-suited for most homes.